Welcome everyone to this video. This is the new Malwarebytes here in 2024. And I just want to do an overview just because they've kind of moved stuff around and reorganized everything. And so we're just going to run through the options here. First off, this PC, View Details. This can give you recommendations, warnings, and a list of critical issues for this specific device that you're viewing it on. Now, of course, I've got everything turned off, so it doesn't like that. But if this was your computer, you would want to go through each one of these. Just check what it lists. I generally recommend just using the anti-malware settings built into the browser rather than adding more extensions or add-ons. So this is one thing I probably would not do, but for the most part, you'll want to go through each one of these options. Now, if I go over here to scans, of course you can click on scan. If I just click on scanner, it's going to give some additional options. I can click on advanced scans. I can do just a quick one, or I can do a custom scan and configure it. I can select what is scanned. I can scan for root kits double check the settings for PUPs and PUMs and even select the drives that I'm scanning. And then we also have scan scheduler, which I believe is only available for the premium version and reports. And then on detection history, we can see what was quarantined, what's been allowed, the history, and then detection overview. It'll just give uh, an overview of your device. And then the real time protection only available for the premium version. Right here, we can enable everything. We can set to automatic quarantine though I would generally recommend leaving this off just so you can review what's been detected just because sometimes mistakes do happen you can protect against brute force and tamper protection and there's also an option to restore defaults and then there's also a VPN now I wouldn't recommend using their VPN if you want to use a VPN use a service that lives breathes and eats VPN such as Proton VPN IVPN Molvad Windscribe, something like that is going to be a much better option. Now I can come over here to settings. We've kind of already poked in these a little bit, but underneath general, you can set how often it checks for updates. You can even manually check for an update. And then here you can set what happens on startup, register it in the Windows Security Center, display theme, language, event log, beta updates, which generally I don't know that I'd recommend beta updates. So I would probably leave this one off as well as if you want to increase privacy, leave usage off as well proxy server and then you can restore defaults scan detection we've kind of already poked around at but if you want to set the scan options they're right here as well as performance allow scanning from the context menu which is when you right click on something and then the defaults for pups and pums allow list and you can restore defaults protection we looked at this earlier vpn again i wouldn't recommend using and then if you need to customize notifications you can do so right here there is a notifications menu up here as well. And then if I click this profile icon in the top right, you can check your subscription. You can deactivate the trial, which will usually enable when you install Malwarebytes the very first time. You also have tutorials. And then if I click on about, it will let me know which version of Malwarebytes I'm using. You can also check for updates from here as well. And then there is a help option you can go to also. Please note that Malwarebytes does run down in the system tray. If you right click, it will list some of the options we've already talked about. And that's just a brief, quick overview of all the options where they're located. If you want to see a review of how the protection works or how good it is at detecting threats, I do have test videos of Malwarebytes. I'll post a link to those video reviews down in the notes down in the video description. But that's everything for this video. If you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the thanks button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.